Hello, in this video we are going to cover implementing a control system into our FreeJS scene. Thankfully, there are a bunch of libraries out there that we can utilize. We'll be utilizing one called Orbit Controls. Like I said, there are a bunch of them. And to see how to use them, if you go to the FreeJS website, go to examples, just type in controls, you can see the different types. So you can do more of a pointer lock. So this is locked to the pointer and I've moved backwards and forwards. All really cool stuff, sort of like a first person shooter. But let's just get out to that. You can do a fly sort of method so it's following the camera. And I can move in and out. So, so this is really cool. So you can do rolling. This is this will be great for a space game. But we're gonna be looking at the Orbit system, which is a fantastic simple control system, really easy to implement and is very useful for navigating our scene. So to use this, first of all, you want to make sure you have FreeJS downloaded. You most likely got it downloaded. If you deleted it, make sure you download it again because as a part of FreeJS, you get a bunch of different files. If you go to examples, scroll down to JS, then go to controls, then go to Orbit controls, just copy that go to your project, paste that into the JS folder, and now what we want to do, as you can see it's in the JS folder, what we want to do is include this file, so right here, do script source equal JS for slash orbit control, Ooh. oh blah, that didn't work, Orbit control JS and now we've got it included to actually implement it it's really simple all you have to do is controls equals new free dot orbit controls we give it two parameters the first is the camera and the next is the DOM element from the renderer. So renderer.dom element, save that. If we go to our web browser, refresh, we can actually move this around. That's really cool, we can zoom in and out. So if I keep the left mouse button clicked and I can rotate our world, it looks like we're just rotating the scene, but if let's say I were to pan using the right mouse button, you can see I'm not rotating just one object, I'm rotating around the center point and now this is also rotating around, well, the center point, central point. And I can zoom in and out by keeping the middle mouse button pressed, I mean scroll wheel pressed, and then just zoom in, I'm just moving my mouse backwards and forwards. So what I'm going to do is finally just disable rotation, so I can get a better understanding of what is happening because it's sort of counterintuitive so as as you can see we can rotate around our object we can pan our object so this is a great way of just navigating our scene so imagine if I wanted to get a little closer to this corner I'm a little close I'm looking at it I'm happy with the corner I'll zoom back out I'll have a look at a view like this and yes I'm very happy with what we've got so this is just a really quick introduction into control systems in FreeJS. Like I said, if you go to the freejs.org website, go to examples, type in controls, and have a look at all the different control systems. You can use the control system, go on view source, and actually have a look at what file it needs. It'll tell you where to get it from and how to implement it. Most of them are usually one or two lines of code, which is fantastic. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us and we will respond. We, we are like that. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.